Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam, and today I thought I would just sit down and do a little, like, chill, get ready with me. It's been a while since I have done any kind of makeup video on my channel, but I've been getting tons of requests to share... Look at this hair. It's looking a little crazy. Anyway... I have been getting tons of requests to share how I have been doing my makeup on the long days at the salon. If you didn't know, I am a professional hairstylist, and there are some days that I am there for a long time, and between blow drying and all of the color applications and everything, I get really sweaty, but I found my go-to staple routine that lasts all day long. It's sweat proof, transfer proof, even if you have to wear a mask, it doesn't budge. So I thought I would share that with you today. Before we get started though, I do want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Dossier. If you've never heard of them before, they make dupes for designer brand high-end fragrances. I have so many of them. I have six in total actually. A couple of them the brand did send to me, but like at least half of them I bought with my own money because I genuinely love their perfumes. They're exact replicas for the well-known name brand fragrances, but for a fraction of the price. Their perfumes start at $29, and they have high-end brands on there like Tom Ford, Joe Malone, fragrances that the brand name retail for like $200 plus for a full-size bottle, and you can get them on Dossier for like $49. You can save so much money, and you still get that same high quality. These fragrances last on me all day long and I know that they're lasting a long time because even when I'm at work I will get compliments from my clients or they'll ask me what perfume am I wearing so when you order from them the box looks like this and inside you have a little note card and it tells you the name brand fragrance that this one was inspired by my favorite this has been my go-to I've been wearing it every single day, is the Floral Pink Pepper, which is inspired by Dior's Miss Dior Cherie, the 2017 version. This just smells so good. And I know it can be a little risky ordering a perfume online, especially if you've never tried it before. There definitely are some that I've ordered from Dossier that I don't even know what like the inspired scent smells like. But what's great is that you can order the perfume and then if you don't like it for whatever reason, you can send it back and they do give you a free return shipping label. I've done that before. I had ordered one, I think it was inspired by a Jo Malone, like a pear one, and... I just didn't really like it, it wasn't my favorite, so I just sent it back totally free and I got a full refund and it was so easy. So if you'd like to check out Dossier, go ahead and click the link in my description and you can also use the code SAM10 to get 10% off. I'm so happy to be working with them again because they are a brand that I genuinely love and use all the time and stand by, so yeah, definitely check them out. Thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now let's let's jump in. Let's get started. First things first, I am going to do some skincare. I feel like that makes all the difference. Like if you want your makeup to go on and look good, you got to have a good base to start with. So I'm going to start with some vitamin C serum. This is from the brand Liliana Naturals. I have the vitamin C serum and the vitamin C eye cream. They're cruelty free, vegan, made in the USA, a whole bunch of good stuff. I'll have a link in the description if you want to try this but this has been like my go-to daytime skincare so I'm just taking a couple drops of the vitamin C and I'm just pressing that into my skin and then I'm taking the vitamin C eye cream this has been really really important I've just found that my under eye concealer just goes on so much nicer and it doesn't crease throughout the day or get all like crepey and dry looking when I put eye cream on first and like have my skin prepped under the makeup. And then lastly for skincare, I'm applying my SPF moisturizer from Circadia. I used to always skip this step, like unless I knew I was going to the beach or I was gonna be like laying out in the sun, I never put on SPF until like a year or two ago. And now I put it on all the time, even if I'm not planning on leaving the house. Gotta keep that skin nice and protected. So now I'm going to apply concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have it in the shade medium peach the first time I got this concealer I did not like it at all whatsoever 
but I was using it a little bit differently. I think the first time I tried it, I had put it on on top of my foundation, and I think I just like applied way too much, and I didn't like it. It felt like just kind of dry, but what I've been doing is applying it underneath my foundation and blending it out with a damp beauty blender, and it's flawless. It lasts all day. It gives amazing coverage. I love it. So I also put it on any little spots that I have, and then I'm taking a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to gently blend that out. The key to a perfectly damp beauty blender is you want to hold it under the water and squeeze it multiple times so that it gets like completely full of water. And then you want to wring it out really hard. And then I will squeeze it into a towel to really get all that excess water out that way it's not too wet and it just like blends everything out so nicely without it like being too cakey or heavy this is like the star of the show right here the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation i can't even like it's like six dollars first of all incredible i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand and i have mine in the shade 170 and i'm just gonna take my beauty blender in there and just tap a little bit all over but it gives such a nice natural like satiny finish um and it's really buildable so the days when i need more coverage it's great or the days that I don't really need much coverage at all you can really like sheer it out I really like it a lot with a beauty blender especially so I just kind of drag that down onto my neck behind my ears into my hairline make sure there's no distinguishable lines like look how nicely it covered everything but it just looks like skin it doesn't look like I have like this thick heavy full face of foundation and I love this shade I feel like it matches me perfectly I have a hard time I'm like very neutral and my skin tone fluctuates a lot throughout the year like I get real dark in the summer and then I get real pale in the winter so it's hard for me to find a shade that actually matches I feel like most foundations are usually either too yellow or too like orange now I'm going to take the ColourPop no filter loose setting powder and I'm going to dip my beauty blender into there and I'm just going to press a little bit of that powder right under my eyes it definitely helps to just like lock everything in and then I'll just go like where I know that I get a little bit more shiny um, like on my nose and on my forehead whatever's left on here I just tap over it just kind of press that in under my eyes the key is to just use a little bit you don't want to overdo it back in the day I used to bake and put like a shit ton of powder under there and let it sit and then dust it off you know um, and I just feel like nowadays it just makes my under eyes look too dry so I just use a little bit just to set and I feel like that's all I need moving on to blush and bronzer I haven't been doing like a, an intense contour or anything like that I've been just keeping it pretty simple I like a more natural look so I found this L'Oreal blush which is like the perfect shade I was looking for a nice blush that kind of like doubled as a bronzer too and it just gave you that nice like bronzy pinky like you were just out in the sun kind of color so this is from the True Match line in the shade W56 Subtle Sable. And one thing that I have been doing like the last several months and I feel makes a big difference in the look of my makeup is rather than bringing it like as far down as I used to, I've been keeping it really high up. Like it's almost touching my bottom lash line and I keep it right here like on top of my cheekbone. And then I blend it up into my forehead and I feel like that just makes my face look more lifted and a little bit like slimmer I feel like before when I would bring like my bronzer and everything like down here you know how we used to do back in the day make the fishy face and contour there I feel like that used to just like drag my face down like when I look at old pictures and videos like I just don't feel like it was as flattering 
So now I've been bringing it up really high. And I remember when I first started doing this, I would get comments on my videos saying like, what would you do differently? Like, why does your face look different? And it's, I th it's literally just from my blush and bronzer placement. It's crazy, like what a difference it can make. And then I like to just bring this onto my nose a little bit. Also, sometimes what I will do is just take my finger into that same blush and just rub it on my lids. Just add a little bit of color to my eyelids. I have not been doing eyeshadow like at all lately but that just adds like a little something a little bit of color so now that our base is done i'm going to take the morphe setting spray the continuous setting mist and i'm going to spray a decent amount on my face if you haven't tried the setting spray yet the way the mist comes out is so nice it just gives such a nice even coating and then i'm gonna take my beauty blender again and i'm ever so lightly like i'm barely touching my face just tapping over especially the cheeks where i put the powder just tap like just very very lightly tap over everything and that just like melts all the makeup together so you will not have any powderiness at all whatsoever. Like, it just makes it look so natural, so skin-like. Next, I'm going to just lightly fill in my brows. Especially this one is a little more sparse naturally compared to this one. So I just fill in any, like, super sparse areas with some pencil. This one is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in Medium Brown. This, too, it's so funny. Like, I remember back in the day would spend so much time filling in my brows and doing pencil and powder and gel and all this stuff and now I just keep it so so simple then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara I've been obsessed with the Lancome Mansour Big mascara if you like a mascara with a drier formula this is for you and I love it because even though this isn't the waterproof version I think they have a waterproof version of it but either way this is not it this is just the regular one but it doesn't smear throughout the day and I was having a lot of issues if you guys watch my vlogs you know I was struggling to find a good mascara that wouldn't smudge throughout the day especially on the days when it was really humid we had a super humid summer I was just looking crazy like by the end of the day I had like all this black under my eyes um, and a few people recommended this one to me and it was a game changer like it does not smudge at all throughout the day And it just makes my lashes look so good. So I just apply it to the top lashes I haven't been doing anything to the bottom lashes last up is lips So I normally keep it very simple with my lips. I normally just do a nude my usual go-to is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lip liner so I'm I'm just gonna combine all of my favorites today because normally what I do is I just combine a bunch of random crap. I just take all like my pinks and my nudes and I just mix them all together. Just kind of depends on the day and like what I grab first basically. <laughs> so I love that color and then I also have really really been loving the KKW Beauty Nude 1 lip liner. This is also a nude obviously but it's a little bit darker. And then I put the lipstick in the same shade this is also the kkw beauty nude one lipstick but even though they're the same shade the lipstick actually is a little bit lighter than the lip liner so i concentrate this in the center of my lips and lately i have been just all about glossy lips so um, i'm just going to top it off with a clear gloss this is from pixie um it's their lip lift max gloss in the shade petal ice it's just like an iridescent clear gloss and i just again focus that in the center so that's it for the makeup now i'm just going to do my hair really quick i washed it and styled it yesterday i'm going to apply some dry shampoo this is the kenra volume dry shampoo this is my favorite dry shampoo just a little bit at the root
And lastly, I'm going to spray on some Sebastian Dark Oil Silkening Mist. I honestly don't feel like this does much to the look or feel of my hair, but it just smells so good. So I've been using this as like a hair perfume. This comes in an actual oil and a shampoo and conditioner and it all smells amazing. And that is it for my look. Now I am ready for the day. I will have all of the products that I use linked in the description as well as my link and code to Dossier. Don't forget to go check them out. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you guys for being here, for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.